Hi, my name is Eric Lillybridge. I'm from Sugar Grove, Illinois. Been following me for uh, about 10 years now, straight. And I'm currently the all-time world record holder in the squat, 881 pounds, 275 about knee wraps. So today I'm going to be walking you guys um, through my squat setup, everything that I do, what I think, um, where I put everything, where the placement's at. First thing that I always do is try to see where the bar is at. You want to center it with uh, the monolith rack. So depending on where you like to keep these, if you like to keep the rack center out, um, you, got, you can use the rings kind of as a guide to where the bar should be. I always keep mine in because I got to put my hands out. I'm not really flexible with my shoulders, so my hands are always on the outside. First thing that I do is set up my belt. So my belt placement, I like to keep my belt up high. If I keep it down lower, I don't get any abdominal pressure. It just doesn't feel right for me. So if I wear it down here and I try tightening it, when I get down there, I just feel like I'm going to collapse over. So it doesn't really do anything for me. That's why I keep mine up high. It's right above my, my belly button. So that's where my belt's going to be. Helps keep me more, I would say, more erect when I'm coming up in the squat. So once my belt is set, I set up the bar. Once the bar is centered, um, I like to roll the bar back. Some people like to have it up against the racks. I don't, so I always roll mine back. Once that's set, I uh, get my hands set up. Once my hands are set up, um, I, I also use a thumbless grip. I don't like to have my hands on the bar. I feel like when I do this, it makes me want to pull the bar into me, and sometimes I'll, I'll kind of come forward. That helps prevent that. So thumbless grip. Once my grip is set, um, get underneath the bar. I like to get really far underneath it, kind of feel it on the, my uh, shoulder blades. Then I get underneath it even more because I'm high bar. That's just how it feels good for me. Once that's set up, um, I kind of wiggle my feet around. If you guys watch my videos, you'll see that. Um, once, I'm, once I'm at this point, you'll see me starting to like wiggle around, trying to find my placement. And once that's set, I take a big breath, unrack the weight, like then I'll take another big breath. I, when I'm doing this, I'm pushing all the air against my belt. You'll see my, my belly kind of push the belt out, and then that's where I'm, all my abdominal pressure's at. Once I'm at this point, you'll see me look up, and then I start coming down. Once I hit the bottom, I'm pushing against the belt and coming up. So when I'm here, having that belt at that position, won't allow me to do this, come forward. It makes me want to stay straight up. So I'll do a, a, a good squat now. I would normally do it. And when I do that, the bar wants to pop off my back. Just because, because of all the, the uh, pressure at the bottom. It's just natural. I'm not trying to push the weight. It just pops off my trap. Another thing is um, your, your balance. If you don't have good balance in the squat, you're probably gonna miss a lot of lifts uh, for PRs. Um, when I used to, a while ago, I used to kinda just dive bomb into the hole and uh, I missed a lot of lifts coming out because my balance wasn't that good. So over the, the years I've practiced with uh, making my balance a lot better and um, I would say that's what kinda helped lead me to my world record squat was figuring out my balance and uh, once I got that down, everything else kind of just came with it. Yeah, because of where I keep the bar um, on my back, I mean, as you guys can see, I keep it up in my traps. So that kind of forces me to want to keep my head up. So like, if, I, if I look down, it doesn't feel right. Because if I look down, it's going to make me want to like push forward and my back will kind of round over. That's why I'm always looking up throughout the entire lift. I try and keep my head back. So that, that helps me out a lot. And I used to squat super narrow. I used to be like actually close to like, like this. Over the years I've actually moved it out little by little as I've gotten bigger. And I used to kind of squat my feet straight. And then I kind of started moving them outward. About right about here, just a slightly, slightly pointed out. So it really engages my quads at the top. When I hit the bottom, I feel my glutes hit really hard and then back right to my quads. So, so you'll see some people like squatting like more like this more like a wide stance, but um, it really all depends on you know, your, your body type, where, you're, uh, where you feel like you have the most power at. I've always felt the most power with a narrow stance and uh, all of my quads. Um, so if you're not hitting depth in training, you can't expect to be hitting it in the, the meat, you know? And um, for some people, um, hitting the bottom is the, the, the most important part of the lift because you get that rebound. Um, if you try and, here, I'll do it real quick. If you try and, um, come down and stop like right at parallel and then push out of it, 
to me it feels harder because I'm not getting the rebound. You're, you're trying to stop the weight and then reverse it. So when I come down and I hit the bottom, I'm catching this rebound right here. This is where all my momentum comes from. And I'm pushing it right back up.